Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving for f of x. Would you call this a differential equation or an integral equation? Whatever you want to call this. We have the integral of f of x times f prime of x dx and it's equal to x and f of 1 is equal to 4. We're supposed to solve for f of x. So this is an integral. We're going to be solving this integral without knowing what f of x is. Actually, our goal is to find what f of x is. Okay. So for this integral, since this integrand, I guess that's what it's called, right? This integrand contains a function and its derivative together, we're going to use u substitution. Okay, so let's start by saying let u equal f of x. This implies du equals f prime times dx. Great. So now when we do the replacements, and obviously this is an indefinite integral, so we're going to be using constant c here, we're going to get the integral of u times du. Okay. Now as you know, this is an easy integral. This is equal to u squared over 2 plus c. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and replace the u with what it is. We said that u equals f of x, so this integral is equal to f of x squared over 2 plus c. But we're also given that this is equal to x. So let's set it equal to x. And from here, let's solve for f of x. Let's subtract c from both sides. That gives us x minus c. Multiply both sides by 2. We get 2x minus 2c. By the way, c is a constant here. Okay. Now, to solve for f of x, we do need to take the square root of both sides. But before we do that, let's go ahead and replace x with something. Because we're given that f of 1 is equal to 4. Since uh, it's given, we can use it, right? So replace x with 1 on both sides. We get f of 1 squared equals 2 minus 2c. And from here, we get two values for f of 1. Obviously, f of 1 can be the square root of 2 minus 2c. Or f of 1 can be written as negative square root of 2 minus 2c. We also know that f of 1 is equal to 4. So if we set the first one equal to 4, from here we get 2 minus 2c is equal to 16. 2c is equal to negative 14. And c is equal to negative 7. If you solve the second one, you get the square root of 2 minus, negative square root of 2 minus 2c is equal to 4. This implies that the square root of 2 minus 2c is equal to negative 4. But this is impossible because square root of something can never be negative. So we don't really get any solutions from here. Which shows us that the, among these solutions, we're going to get the positive one. And c needs to be negative 7. So if you go back here to the equation f of x squared. Let's go ahead and write it this way. f of x can be written as plus minus the square root of 2x minus 2c, right? We notice that the minus sign is not going to apply, so f of x can be written with a positive sign, and c is equal to negative 7. Therefore, we can write f of x as the square root of 2x plus 14. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.